Welcome to the Turf Report with Sam and Jess. One. I think I think it's a one. I think, do you need help? Welcome to the Tarp Report with Sam and Jess. I just failed at opening a water. Uh oh. And now my hands all wet. Uh oh. Not a good start. Not a good start. Well, there was a countdown, and, and like nothing makes me like get worked up like a countdown. Yeah. So Trey was like three, two, and I was like, my water's not open, and so I squeezed it too hard and started twisting. Okay. And water has come out the top. Oh and if you're goodness. listening to this. What a mess. Listen, what an absolute you hear disaster. That? that is the sound of a wet but rapidly drying oh. hand. Okay. <laughs> I think they. Mm. Uh, I know uh, this may sound like some it, other things. Are these people at the gym or having sex? Might sound like somebody is my new phrase banned on TikTok. You throwing some dick. <laughs> oh, you better Trey. be careful. You're going to get banned Trey. on Spotify. No, I can say it on my own podcast. Our. I can say it on our podcast. Well, I don't know. Can I say it on our podcast? <laughs> yeah. I feel like you should ask I should? first. Yeah. Trey. Uh, not Trey. I should ask Jess. No, Trey. Trey doesn't care. Trey, you don't care if I say throwing dick, do you? I prefer throwing dick over dick in the dog. What'd you say last time, though? That was like super more messed up. Dick and the dog. Dick and the dog. Yeah, he said he was going to have sex with the dog. Yeah. Which is so throwing weird. my dick at a dog. Yeah, which, that's what that meant. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's a, just a phrase that means when you're not working hard. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was just dicking around. Yeah, dicking around, you can say yeah. that. But other people say... He's they just don't. dicking the dog. They yes, don't. they do. You it's ever heard thing. of the term I would oh, like, poking you know, ass? It's kind of like that. No. Never poking heard poking ass. ass? Like, I'm like, quit poking ass. Like, you're just like. Quit poking ass? Like, how? Like, just, it's just like procrastinating, like, procrastinating, like, like poking ass. Mm-mm. Like, I, how monkeys be poking their butthole? Just like, lo- like, loafing around, you know? I'm sorry. Poking their, like, but they're poking their butthole. What do you mean? Monkeys. Yeah, like they poking do that. their butt. Like so they, they do. They, they don't have any butt. self awareness. I, mean, I know so they throw gross. their poop, but like, yeah. I've never like heard poking, of someone poking. being like, "Oh, you're just po- were, poking the butthole." No, just poking ass. Yeah. Just poking that ass. might I be my favorite new thing. I'm I just... would. I went to the zoo with my kids, and mm-hmm. there was an otter that was furiously masturbating. Oh, I saw a monkey doing that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like just really going at it, and like. It was really cute because it's an otter and they have those little hands, you know. And at first oh. I was like, is he trying to break open a clamshell on a little belly rock? No. What'd your kids no. say? Huh? What'd your kids say? They, they were just, them. they were laughing. Mm. They were like, oh, that otter's silly. And I'm like, yeah, real silly. Oh, I'm my sicko. goodness. How inappropriate. You're going to catch a charge, man. You're at a zoo. You can't jerk off. That's public. Yeah, you can't That's do that there. Space. Yeah, yeah. That's why I have to go to the zoo in Tacoma. <laughs> like, I got in trouble with all the other ones. Right. You, s- <laughs> you have to stop jerking. A joke. Because you jerk off everywhere is what you're saying. No, that's inappropriate. I that is what dick. you were saying. Everywhere I go, I throw a dick. You- so I was in, I posted a video on my TikTok, right? And I was like, this is pretty funny. <clears throat> because I talk about how I have this joke where I'm like, I would never cheat on my wife. Right. And I can only do this joke in the winter. That's not the joke. I go, I would never cheat on my wife, especially not this time of year. I used to be homeless. <laughs> like, the stakes are high. <laughs> like, I wouldn't cheat on my wife in March. During the cold. It's too cold. Right. And then I said, I might throw some dick in August. But it's weird because I'd never used the term throw dick. Yeah. But I heard it in the song, and I liked it. And that's where I learned that's how I pick up new things. You're new, yeah. Have you ever heard that term throwing dick? Yeah, I've heard throwing dick. No, I never. Slanging, yeah. slanging dick, yeah. Slanging dick. Throwing, slanging dick. Throwing, okay. slanging. This is really. I'm going to turn off the air real quick. I drove okay. this down. Yeah, just. Moving. Actually, just turn off the whole podcast. I don't Moving think, dick. I don't paid think tray. our bonus. Our bonus episode. It's not a bonus episode. This is not a bonus episode. <laughs> he keeps acting like we're doing a bonus episode. We're not. We're just. No. Because you are going to be. You're going to be gone. You know, every episode is a bonus episode. It's I think any time that we're able to, yeah, anytime we can pull it out. Yeah, is, seriously, is it is it extra? I'm doing this as a public service. 
You're welcome. To increase awareness. You okay? So you have to watch you Trey what? Trey yell at him about his mic because what am I doing? Remember, and because he you always go back way here and I'm like up here and then someone said in our comments that they have to adjust when you're talking and when I'm talking. What do you mean? Like the volume. Oh, the right? I'm and too quiet. Trey that and, seems like a Trey problem. No, <laughs> it's a you problem. Remember, because you don't like to talk. I don't like this thing right in my face. And what are you doing? Why do you have it halfway over your ear? Because my right ear got warm. (laughs) My ear got warm. And then I can do this. I'm getting sweaty too. When my left ear gets warm, I'll go Mm. (laughs) and switch it like that. That's good. It's pretty smart. But right now, I feel like no. That's that's a nerd fact. But I was gonna say scientifically, just a fun fact. The human they hear like around like. I don't know, a certain hertz, and your voice is lower than that. So you you talk the same volume as Jess, mm-hmm. but to the human ear, it's only perceived as, like, lower because the frequencies that you're hitting are higher. And Jess is, you'll hear her because she's yeah, Jess. Yeah, I, I, so you're talking I just as loud through. as Jess, but mm-hmm. it's that. that. Yeah, you can uh, hear me from a mile away. That's because people don't got but that's just If you want to listen to me, you got to have a <clears throat> system. You got to have some subs and an amp. That's yeah. the only way you can pick this up. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, that's about as low as I can go. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I feel like something just got exercised. Just <laughs> yeah. that, like I felt like a spirit just came out of you. Speaking of exercising. <laughs> oh, yay. What a great transition. Look yeah. how you look amazing. <laughs> like, uh, you look great today. I. I'm on a fitness journey. If you haven't heard, Trey. I'm on oh, a you fitness heard. journey. You haven't heard. I'm on a About fitness this. journey. You didn't hurt yourself again, right? No. Okay. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. When I was doing pushies and pulleys and Yankees. Because, no. yeah, I guess on Monday. That was the first day. I guess, or I guess on Tuesday, you didn't you say you ended the fitness journey? Because no. you hurt yourself. <laughs> no, that was... Like two weeks ago, you okay. said you were trying to do cardio mostly, and then you messed around and did. Yeah, I was yeah, doing you did weight some training, pulleys and, and I did and then, pulleys and Yankees and pushies, and um, I don't know what they're called. That's what I call them. Yeah, you I think, like no, push I think the those weight are away the from you. Terms. You pull the weight towards you, and you yank the weight down, mm-hmm. and you can yank the weight up. Mm-hmm. And by pushing and pulling and yanking, you're working your pushing muscles, your pulling muscles, and mm-hmm. your yanking muscles. Mm-hmm. That's science. Um, yep. Yeah. You know what's weird is I do need to put both of them Mm -hmm. on. Right. I know. Yeah. It doesn't sound right. Right. Um, There's a reason, I think. But yeah. So last night I was getting ready for a show. I do a lot of shows. And no no big deal. Just a little humble brag, real quick. Um, And I went to put on my special fat guy belt and, and I barely qualified for special fat guy belts. I'm at the. Do you have to Last apply round. for those? No, no. It's not like an <laughs> Obamacare kind of thing. <laughs> you have to talk to someone? <laughs> no, no. You just have to go to the, a special store and you oh. find the belt that's on the rack but also touching the floor. <laughs> oh, that's a big belt. <laughs> it's a big belt. Mm. It's a big belt. Yeah. It's a long way around right. this equator. It has to be. Yeah. I have quite the longitude. <laughs> <is what I'm laughs> Wait, which is the one that goes? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Not a clue. Um, Trey, can you look that up? Thanks. Don't. Um, don't look it up. Don't worry about <laughs> it. it doesn't matter. Um, it'd be fun if you did some fact checking for us, though, because you're not. We really, would always be wrong. Yeah, it doesn't feel do like that. you're certainly not spending a lot of time adjusting volumes. <laughs> Clearly. Um, I mean, I know I just paid you, but it's like for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well yeah. throw it in a hole. <laughs> no, <laughs> Trey's doing great. <laughs> um, you could have given that to one of those. Anyone else? One of those sad dog charities. Literally, you see on TV. yeah. Um, so anyway, I go to buckle up. My special fat guy belt. Buckling, yeah. It's not buckling. You just put the little peg through the hole. Right. And then uh, then you're not allowed to zoo. <laughs> Call back. Um, nice. I'm really on fire today. Uh, and it was like my belt is too big. Oh, my Lord. And Already? the belt Already? has changed. It's like I've probably lost like an inch of That's so great. Size. It was a- it was an old belt, right? It wasn't just like a new belt you bought. It was my newest. You think a newer belt's going <clears> to <throat> shrink? No, nah, a newer much. belt could have just been like a different brand. Like you buy a size 10 in Nikes, that might fit you. You buy a size 10 in Pumas, 
It might not. Yeah, and then it might be a different <clears throat> size. Also, my knee has been feeling better. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. That's really great. And my spirit has been lifted. Yeah. You can see it in your eyes, for real. Trey said yeah. you're glowing. Well, I told you I've been working out my eyes like with a laser pointer. Stupid. I have. <laughs> you know that? I have, Trey. I do that. Like That's really kid. good. Yeah. yeah. You know what's funny, too, is you don't actually need the laser pointer. I can just imagine there's a laser pointer. Wow. That's the power of creativity. Well, that's, the, I mean, that's, I mean, what a great workout. That's so wonderful. You can literally, I mean, you can do it anywhere. I don't know. You can do I do it, it when I'm driving and I almost crashed. Yeah. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about when I almost crashed watching a bald eagle? Did I ever tell you that story? No, it sounds riveting. There was a bald eagle and I'm watching this bald eagle soar and it was so beautiful and I was really into it. And I'm like duck down and like yes. looking up see that out the thing mm. and i almost <laughs> ran into the back of somebody there was like traffic and i almost i almost you, died a patriot you're <laughs> <laughs> you are a big bird i almost you died for my a, country you do love a good bird you do love a good bird you do you're like okay, just there's like a nature. there's a yellow-tailed ass hat <laughs> bird and i'm like oh that's a beautiful Something's care. wrong with this water. I don't think it's the water, my dude. Mm. I think it is a user error. Mm. That might be the case. I think but, it's um, you. Yeah. I think it's you. Um, as you see, we do not have a special guest. No. Not yet. We're still we thought not. About it. We thought about it. By the way, I'm going to say this. Just I don't it. think we're going to do guests. I don't want to. I think that we debate it. Yeah. And my time. mom will come back. Right. That is it, is my mom. But I don't want to hear all so the time. So that is a special guest. No, nobody wants their mom around all yeah, the time. Oh. It bums me out because all so, those jokes I just did, the really funny stuff, she would hate those. Yeah, well, she doesn't think you're particularly funny. No, she doesn't. Well, I make her so. laugh a lot. Dude, you know what's weird, man? It's like, oh, my God, like I roast my mom all the time. I love she that. She loves it. Like she thinks it's so funny when I talk about her being old. Yeah. Like, and she is very old. Yeah. So it's easy. That's good. You know, that makes it nice. I love a good, I love an easy joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right there. So that's um, fantastic. But yeah, um, we had breakfast. Yes. We just finished breakfast. Mm -hmm. It was really great. We went to the homestead, which yeah. is, it's, it looks like a farm house. Yeah. They asked me how I wanted my steak, and I said over medium. <laughs> so, like, like, like Cracker Barrel? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. the homestead. Yeah, it's like really I, close to the club. It's probably like a mile. Yeah, and a half. Mm -hmm. We could have. You know, there's a Denny's like right there. Well, but I don't really like Denny's that much. No. I have to eat enough Denny's and Sherry's as it is. Oh, but did you see? I got a I got a honey bun on the way out. That's literally oh. like this big, and then Sam suggested that I give it to you. <laughs> Um, which I thought was very nice. I'm not going to. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I know I'm that's messed up. I said like, you should give it to Trey. He was like, I sent a picture to him when because he was in the bathroom when I sent him a picture while I was checking out, and like he's like, oh, you should send it to Trey, and I'm like, that is so what sweet. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna fucking eat it. What when? do you mean? What you that's lunch. I've never gravy. seen you eat it ever. That's lunch. I no, do. She eat. She eats. I've seen her. She eats a like, lot actually. That's yeah, good. like I eat. Yeah, yeah. she like, eats all I the need time. Food, she snacks just like and a, stuff like that. I think she just has a high metabolism. Mm. I'm a I'm a grazer. Like I will just I kind of like eat slowly throughout the day. Yeah, when we're on the road and we stop and there's like a field, like just, yeah, just I'll just go out there on all fours. Eating grass. My dad used to call me cow eyes. <laughs> cow eyes? Yeah. You do have big eyes. I can see it's, it. Yeah, I have big eyes. People and then like that, though. I also, I mean, it's all the grass. Yeah. People like my big eyes. Yeah, people like big eyes. eyes. Mm. Yeah. It's like yeah. an evolutionary thing. All the better to see you with. Exactly. Well, I think that people are, it's an evolution thing. Because I know that you can see predators coming up, and then I can defend us. Well, it's a trick because I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> you think not without my glasses? I can't see anything. Those big eyes, you should be able to see everything. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. It feels like wasteful. you have IMAX eyes. <laughs> They're wasteful. <laughs> I can see in four D. Yeah, I was about to say. I think you can sit at the front seat of the movie theater, and it doesn't even bother you. You're like, you know, this is perfect. Uh, my sister is the opposite and has no depth perception. Like she sees everything like flat. Does she have one eye? No, she just, she has like, um, she has like the muscles in her eyes mm. are not like, or, or something, but like she was never, so they gave her, they were, they told her when she was younger, they're like, oh, you can go on disability and not drive, you know, but then, you know, no, no 16 year old's going to choose to 
to not drive. So she's been in numerous accidents because she is. Jesus. Because she just that keeps, she just keeps rear ending people because she's. Like, Has she always had it that way though? Because mm-hmm. I know some people who like lose when, you know, when you lose one eye. Yeah. It's like cut off. But I mean, I'm pretty sure you would remember how it was if you had two. Do you know a lot of people yeah, that have lost an eye? They have lost an eye? You know a lot of one-eyed people one that have eye. lost eyes? I, I'm, I know like three. Really? Surprisingly, like in school, there'd always be that kid. that person who lost his legs on the toilet. You know a lot of weird there's, people. There's a lot of, like, there's a lot of people who, like, you never had those kids in school who would pull out the eye as a joke and, like, show it to everyone? Uh-uh. Yeah, there's a couple of those. I know a lot of deaf kids, too. Not their oh, real Oh, man. <laughs> I was going to say something. You know who our guest should be is fucking Trey. Trey. <laughs> like, what yeah. in the... His school sounds amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. and terrifying, like a yeah. freak show. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just idea. popping out eyeballs yeah, like yeah. no one can hear. Yeah, he's like, what hey, you want to see my eye? And the other kid's like, what? <laughs> totally. What? That sounds frightening. Yeah. That's, that's what I, I know... I have a friend of mine who almost lost his leg. My friend, little Alex. He almost lost his life. Ever tell you about, um, I got drunk one time and I fell out of a That's tree. Weird. You know that story. Yeah. Because I, I talk about it. I'm, I've worked it, I've tried it on stage and I know it because I talk about it at recovery things. I don't know if I ever told you this story, Trey. I don't wow. think I've ever sold it on a podcast, but one time I was at a party out in the woods and I was really drunk. And this girl Cameron showed up and I owed her 20 bucks and I didn't want to pay her. And so I grabbed a six pack of beer and I climbed up this tree because I knew she couldn't get up there. Right. And so I'm just like, smart. I'm drinking in a tree. Right. Like no problem. Anyway, I woke up in the hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. fell a long ways. How dude. far did you fall? A long ways. I oh, don't man. Know, all the way. At least 15 feet. Way yeah. more than 15 feet. And I hit one branch on the way down. Oof. And I had, like, bark, like, dug into my side. I was, like, pissing blood. It was crazy, dude. Dude. And then um, I, all the bones in my hand were, like, in between the bones in my forearm. Mm. Like, and, like, my shoulder was out and my elbow was out. And I still have issues. Like, my whole right shoulder right arm like everything's kind of jacked up how long but were you in the hospital <clears throat> just that morning oh really yeah yeah oh yeah, damn yeah and uh because i was never good at hospitals because mm, they wouldn't give me out. i think they gave me some pain medication or whatever when i got there i don't remember um i don't remember getting there but it was i knew the doctor that came in cause he because i was hurt all the time mm. and um it was the this is like alcoholism in a nutshell, right? It is like, he was like, Sam, I think this is a wake up call. Yeah. And I was like, I think you're right. Like, <laughs> it wasn't. I was like, I got to stop climbing trees. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got this tree problem, you know. I did the same thing, um, except I was, I was trying to, to um, do a rope swing and I climbed up. I was fucking just oh, wasted. No. And I climbed up to the top of the rope swing and I had it Mm-mm. and like, I went to like tighten it because yeah. I didn't have a good enough grip. Yeah. And then when I tightened it, I just oh, fell. Oh my God. Did you land in the water? Down. No, oh, I did not. On like the roots of the tree? Um, yeah, I just landed. Luckily I landed on my back, but I was, I was in the hospital for nine days. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Fucking for Jesus real. Jesus Christ. Like, what I, was like your injuries? Um, I broke all of my ribs. I split my spleen and I, oh. yeah, I punctured a lung and. Do you yeah. remember it? I rem- well, I, I remember coming to when I fell to the ground and just being embarrassed and just remember like everybody like running towards me and like mm. people like swimming from the other side to like right. come. But I like popped up and I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm good. You know, like adrenaline is an awesome drug. Yeah. Um, but then like about 10 minutes later, I was like, I think I need, and I was with people that I, had literally just met that day. Like shouldn't, like I yes. left. Yeah. Like I met them at the gym and I went to go party with them. It was just all the, yeah. just the worst. Where bucket. was this? I don't even remember. I no, I mean, idea. what part of the country? Oh, it was, it was here. It was in Washington. Oh yeah. It was when I was living here. I wonder. Yeah. Was it possibly? I wonder. Oh, was was you, have you heard this story? Have you no, heard of me? Have no, you heard no. tales you know of place? You know I just know a sketchy ass rope swing where people got hurt all the time. Out Maybe by Rainier. I have no. I what, literally. What 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 
Do you don't know any? Mm-hmm. You don't know where? I could not. I, my car was Ooh, at like I'm about a to random. Crack this case, dude. It, I, I know there I know was. Where a, it's at. It was. We could jump off the bridge there too. Oh my <laughs> god! Maybe that would be crazy. I bet you anything. It was on the Deschutes. We That's, can go back and we can go there. Oh and my then god! I can That'd be a funny. Steve. Oh, you know what we should do? We should do like a special tarp report with Sam and Jess field trip on the on and the road. You can bring equipment. And film us. We go. <laughs> okay. and I'll, we'll have like microphones. We'll be like news reporters, and they'll be like, "This is where just fell out of the tree and almost killed herself." Mm-hmm. We, we have lav mics. We have lav mics. Yeah, the ones that go on your shirt. Oh, yeah. sweet! Hell yeah! You know, I used to do backflips off that rose line, and I never hurt myself. I might have done a backflip, but not on purpose. You did half a one. <laughs> like, <laughs> but but I remember there was a there was a a nurse who was kind of the same way and i would just remember like vaguely like day five he was like you know i saw your you know your toxicology (laughs) report like maybe maybe now is some time to maybe think about some things and i continued to drink even after that you know what's funny is i used to get so angry Mm -hmm. you'd be like i'd be like bro fix me up get get me out of here i'm gonna start withdrawing soon so (laughs) i gotta go you're not my spiritual advisor yeah. You're just a dude who's not quite a doctor <clears throat> right. and not quite anything. Oh, man. Anyway. I, I, I don't remember. I Because that was all I was on. Like, I, I had, like, an epidural the entire time. But, like, I. Like, oh, my God. Um, I don't remember. I, I don't. I do think about that nurse, like, a lot. I'm like, oh, I hope I hope he knows that I'm okay. <laughs> I would venture to bet, and I bet some people will listen to this episode. I bet. Because I have a lot of friends that work in healthcare. Yeah. And I think it's something that they just commonly do. And I think they know. There's this really great quote I love. And it's basically like, no act of compassion is ever wasted. Mm -hmm. That um, anytime you're kind to somebody or anytime you give like advice from like a good place of like honestly trying to help somebody. That there's no like wrong way to do that that if you're truly compassionate and your motivation is to is to is to really help without trying to like get something for yourself mm-hmm. that that will always work out. That's right. Yeah. So when folks like so that doctor, right? Mm-hmm. Was like, yeah, I got I got high as shit that day. Like I right. couldn't wait to get out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and then, um, and also I was excited because I had almost died. I didn't even say this. So little Alex. So at that party, mm. I almost landed on little Alex. Aww. Like, and I would have killed him. Like, yeah. I really think I would have killed him. Yeah. Um, cause I'm just so big. Uh, but there is, uh, that doctor planted a seed. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, and it's the same thing when I was in jail, um, going to meetings when I was in jail. Like, that's the first time I ever went to, like, a meeting or whatever, you know, like, a recovery support group. And then... Oh, was when you were in jail, really? mm Mm-hmm. Oh, right on. Yeah, Thurston County and then Yakima jail, the people would bring in meetings. And and I remember going to that and being like, um, yeah, like, I'm an alcoholic, maybe. Yeah. And it's like, they're like, is your, um, like, um, has your life become unmanageable? And they'd be like... You kind of caught me in a bad time. You know? <laughs> I mean, like, like right now right it now, is, but like not usually. And I really thought I'm like you know, everybody gets locked up like every once in a while. You yeah, know, like they don't. you'd be surprised at how much of the population has just never been incarcerated right. and will never be incarcerated. You know, it's like that's that's more common to just no. never go to jail, right? Like it's really weird. Um, that's like when people talk about drugs. They're like, "Oh, we've well, done coke," and it's like, "Nope." Nope, not everyone. You've never done coke? Not everyone has done. Mm-mm. Trey's trying to fix this problem. <laughs> it's not going to happen because uh, now I'm going to have to move over here. Uh, no, so. I never. No, I never did. I never did drugs because like I knew I just because I knew I'd love them. Yeah. Like I oh know I'd God. fucking love drugs. So I much. was more of a piece of shit on coke than I was when I was tweaking. Yeah. Because coke was so expensive. We had to like. You had to like work, have a job, and by it. work, no, I don't mean have a job. Oh, you mean like you had to, <laughs> yeah, had to like we had to do, steal. yeah, 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 which is work, yeah, that's a job, yeah, it's a job, yeah, yeah, uh, you yeah, know, that's, um, and I'm glad that's not my life anymore, yeah, right, yeah, mm-hmm. 
Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, what's our next topic? <laughs> what are you? That's like that's like a comic being like, oh, what else was I going to talk about? I know it's hard uh, because it's a bonus pod. It is not. This is not a bonus episode. I think also, it is. my episode ten isn't refreshing. What? Um, oh, for, I have it. Um, the reason why it is Friday, so we recorded on Monday or mm-hmm. Tuesday, like we usually do, mm-hmm. and then we're recording on Friday because today. I am going today. Right now, Friday. We're recording right this minute. Yeah. And um because next week I'm going to Legoland. Oh for shit. spring break. What? Yeah. Legoland. Um if Are you're you going the whole week. Uh I'll be in the park for three days. I'll be gone Oof. for like four days or whatever. Where is Legoland? It's in um Carlsbad. Which is close to San Diego. I'm doing one show in San Diego on Wednesday at the Madhouse Comedy Club. Yeah. Are you guys flying? Yeah. 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 Okay. If it was up to me, we'd drive. But that's because I'm a maniac. Right. And I love driving. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, that's very exciting. Yeah. And the kids, you know, the the things, kids do not know they're no, going, right? No, they know. They figured it out. Oh. Well, how, how do they figure it out? I don't know. They're smart or something. Do they listen to the podcast? No, no, they don't. They don't know how to listen to podcasts, and that makes me happy. Well, then they're not there. And smart. if they did listen to podcasts, <laughs> they, wouldn't listen to the, they wouldn't listen to their dad's <laughs> podcast. They're like, oh, I wonder what dad's up to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that lady Jess that dad does shows with. Yeah, they'd be pumped about they love that. Me. They do like you. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. I gotta say Legoland, a lot of Legos. And yeah. um Is there a particular Lego you I am Lego neutral. To? No, I like Legos. I'm excited. I love this shit. I really do. And my kids, this is probably like I would we've not. gone and by the way, we wouldn't be able to do any of this shit without my mom. Like my mom is basically funding this trip. Uh, oh, my mom is retired. Nice. My mom worked for the VA forever and um was smart with money too. Not in like a way. So my dad died when I was 12. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I've talked about that too much on the podcast, but my dad died when I was 12. There was like life insurance money. Some of it should have went to me when I was 18. But my mom, like, straight hid that money from me, which low-key still hurts my feelings, but, but also, also probably saved my yeah, life. You, yeah, definitely. Because if I would have gotten – well, I, either way, I would have just burnt yeah. through it immediately. Like, I would not – Right, it would have been spent It would have on... been gone, yeah. you know. Um so it was cool because I had money to go to school when I wanted it. So it's, like, in a weird way, like – I still got the money, even though I didn't get the money. Right. So, like, I got, you know, which I'd rather have my dad around, I guess. But, like, what are you going to do? You know? It's, at least your dad, at least you, like, at least he had some something set up. That's well, good. some of it was Air Force stuff. And also, I think there was, like, a class action settlement thing. Because some of the, one of the reasons he died, you know, it was, like, a lot of it had to do with, like, how he treated his body. But a lot of it was asbestos. Yeah. So, I mean, that just is what it is. Um, but anyway, going to Legoland. Um, very going excited. Going to Legoland. Um, kids are over the moon excited. It's probably the last time we're going to go. Because your kids are how old? 12 and 9. And so they're on, like, Legoland is more geared towards, like, younger kids. But, like, it's still, ah, oh, it's so fun and it's so cool. And there really are. And also the thing about Legoland that I love, too, is, like, Disney and Universal, like, I feel like it's essentially, like, price gouging. Like, how much they charge for, like, stuff. So, uh, yeah. You so know? Excited. But Legoland, you can go there and get a meal for, like, under $20. Nice. Like, like it's not ridiculous. Did and, it? like, the food is pretty good. And I don't know. It, they have rides there? Yeah, they do. And the rides aren't amazing, and they're mostly geared for, like, younger folks, but it's great for kids. Kids love it. Yeah. They have, like, a couple I think the whole thing bigger is Bigger roller coasters. Probably. Yeah, it is. And it's cool because my kids are old enough, and they have these, like, GPS watches things now. And, like, I'm going to advocate for me and my mom and Brittany to find a nice cafe somewhere. And, like, just sit there. And just let them go. And let them run around and do whatever. And we can call them on their watches. Yeah. Like, it's really easy to do. So, yeah. So that's why we're recording an extra episode. 
and um, it's not an extra episode. You know what I mean. It's We're an recording extra an extra episode, episode this, this week. week. Yes. Yeah, thanks for correcting me all the time. You're welcome. I've got you. I don't need that. I know. How's your tattoo healing? It's great. Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. There it is. Mm-hmm. Do, do 30 more minutes. Do 30 minutes, please. That's I told great. you that story, right? Yeah. It's just crazy, Trey. Yeah. Get back on the mic. Sorry. Yeah. Jeez. Do you, it's a podcast. They need to hear you. Episode 10. Is going great. I'm just trying to figure out. We it's haven't thanked our me, sponsors. We haven't. It's taken me this long to figure out how to use the mic. Ten episodes. Ten episodes. Mm. Ten episodes in. You use a mic like for your job, though. Like, May, it's every, like literally what you get paid to <laughs> every do. Time you go on stage Can you imagine if you went on stage? Yeah, but you guys are the right mic. there. I don't need no, a that's microphone. True. That's true. But it's not just us. You're forgetting about a lot of people. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's not just us, man. Mm-mm. This mm-hmm. is going out to to the masses, hundreds, at one, least hundreds, one hundred people. <laughs> <laughs> That's one about where we're at. Hundreds of people. Jess is right. We mm-hmm. do have sponsors. We do have sponsors. Yeah, and they're fantastic, by the way. And I have a story about one of our sponsors, um, Bar Francis mm-hmm. in Olympia, Washington. Yep. Um, the Shoot River Cycler. Where Trey? <gasps> You say it so fast. I don't really. Deschutes, Deschutes River Cycler. Oh, it's River. Yeah, yeah Deschutes River Cyclery. Yeah. Deschutes. And where? So is it like? Yeah, Deschutes, Deschutes River Cycler. No, Deschutes, Deschutes. Deschutes River Cycler. And Deschutes. you should go there. Listen, I'm gonna do a little extra right now. Okay. Okay. You should go to Deschutes River Cyclery because and, your car is bad. And buy a bike. I'm not saying this to Trey. I'm saying this. To oh, him. I thought they fixed cars. I was like, I'm so, down. Deschutes River Cyclery. They actually moved to a new location. <laughs> With less storage, and they had to they have to get rid of some bikes. Oh, so they're and gonna you can get slamming deals, sale. yeah. Mm. And um, also, old school pizzeria, also in Olympia, Washington. Um, Bar Francis. This uh. is the funniest thing. So I love coffee, and I drink coffee every morning. And I'm not like a coffee snob. Like I still drink gas station coffee sometimes because I have to. But I love a to. great cup of coffee. Yeah. And I have never had coffee as good. As the coffee at Bar Francis. Really? Everywhere I go, I like compare it to, to Bar coffee. Francis. Just black coffee or like a, a drink? You know what? Usually at Bar Francis, I get like a latte, yeah. honestly. And okay. I sit out on the corner and I put my headphones on. And you wait. And I listen to music and I sit there and I talk to people and it's the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best. It's like my favorite thing to do. Um, I was going to do it this morning. I actually they forgot couldn't. that we were doing this until last night. I had to keep reminding myself, be like, nope, podcast Friday. Yeah, podcast, podcast Friday. Friday. It's nope. weird. It's and a different remember thing. Remember podcast So, yeah, those, Friday. Are, those are our sponsors. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. And we're we're at Nate Jackson's super funny recording. Yeah, and I'm right wearing now. his shirt right now. Yeah, I'm really, really Which sporting it. You look great. You're popping fitting, out of it. Fitting better. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a muscle tee now. Yeah. Mm. Well, I have muscles in there. You, yeah. Under Probably. under the jelly is some peanut butter. I mean, not gonna lie though. Not gonna coffee. lie though. From, I mean, the camera. I mean, you look good. From right. The cameras like because your chest, you got the shoulders just going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the chest is you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So if you just pose. And you know what? <laughs> On my way home today, I'm not going straight home. I'm going to the gym. Yeah, that's great. To my friend Jim's house to buy meth because yeah. I'm relapsing. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> gotcha. Wait, what was that? <laughs> <You're laughs> I thought that was a clap back. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I don't know oh if that's What song is that? Oh, yeah, that's copyright. Of course. We're going to have to cut that out. Yeah, I'm going to cut that out. No, no, no. You should. That scared the absolute <laughs> doo-doo out of me. Like, I honestly think that there's probably a little bit of Dude, pain. was that DMX? I don't, know. I don't know why Nate Wait. put that on there. That's hilarious. That we sounded like find, Master we P. We do need. Oh, what? No, I don't think it was Master <laughs> P. Um, I was listening to Master P the other day. Um, here's a question. Yeah. Intro music. What Does, about it? Would it have, words, like, would it have like, words in it or did, like an instrumental? What are you I don't want about? to pay anybody to do it. We have instru- We Have you listened to the podcast? There's intro music? 
There is intro music. There's intro music. There's you saying "Welcome to the podcast" with Jess and Sam. Like there's an intro music. Damn, yeah, there's busted. intro. There's yeah. If you listen, well, why would I listen to my own podcast? I'm here recording it. Mm-mm-mm. Well, then you can't critique it. Oh, there's Damn. intro music. Yeah, there's intro music. Yeah, Dane did it up. Look, listen to it. Yeah, let's let's put cue it up. Let's see. I'm gonna see. Do it. <laughs> Are people? Does it? Do you think it's disrespectful for me not to listen to my own podcast? I well, when I'm, I guess I just really like it. it. I just, yeah. I just really like it. So I listen to it I all like the time. I, I, I would, but just like the post editing, uh, like I listen to it basically. You know what I mean? So yeah. Like while I'm working on it. Right. You. Are, yeah. Oh my God! We have theme music. <laughs> How long have we had theme music? Just episode. What? Just episode six. Who's on that? Welcome to the Threat Report with Sam and Jess. Uh-huh. Did Dane make that? <laughs> oh, this is way easier than recording new episodes. <laughs> wow, that's great. So what were you saying? I'm so glad we have the music. <laughs> I like Isn't it. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't that sound good? When I'm like, here's a problem, and then it Jess is solved. like. It's already solved. Jess fix is like, Dane, can you fix that? I know. Uh, Dane is the most, like, <laughs> goodness. I don't know what I do with that. Shout one, out man. to Dane. Yeah. Yeah. What's Dane's last everything. name? Hasseldahl. Shout out to Dane Hasseldahl. I, I think that's how you say his last name. Dane. Yeah. Yeah, Dane. Mm. I yeah. think it's a. Dang. Th- that's what they should call more like Dang Hasseldahl. Dang. Doll for helping. Dang, yeah. I wasn't ready for that. He, yeah, he's a jack of all trades. Yeah. He just he just finished the floor at, at I know, Comedy Bar. That's crazy. Like, what the hell? Yeah, he just did it himself. Oh my god. Um, I got jokes. Okay. And you have to start this time, Trey, because me and Jess reading breakfast when I wrote the first one, oh, and it's, so, the first one is not very good. I already know it. Yeah, but I think I might surprise you. Okay. Some of these I think uh, are good. Well. You know how sometimes I'm like, these ones are bad. No, you say it every time. Yeah, but some of these ones are good, I think. And there's, there's one of them. Four. There's one, There's five of them. Oh. There's one of them that I'm going to use in my act. Okay. And I want you to try to figure out which one. Which one it is. Mm-hmm. It's funny when people say that I embarrass them because I'm way more embarrassed because I'm the one actually being embarrassing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's the one I wrote with Jess there. I think Jess messed me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's no good. Just pretend okay. that one never existed. Okay. I think everyone should use those toilet seat covers. That way I can keep never <laughs> using those toilet seat covers. <laughs> Isn't that cool if everybody just used the toilet seat covers and then You mean like the furry? Huh? Like the furry, like the paper ones. Yeah, like the paper mm. ones. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. If everybody if else, if everyone used else them, is using it, oh, then, then you I don't have to. to. It's just like condoms. Yeah, you like actually everybody use, uses. Them. You use hell no. Condoms? I don't use them toilet seat covers. No, I don't use. And I don't use condoms seat. either. Oh. I got fixed, and I'm married. I don't wash my hands either. Boom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jess doesn't um, bathe at all. I don't know because like my down. my butt sweats like when I when I poop because you're pushing so hard. It's like the paper. Just your butt? The cheeks. Just the cheeks sweat? How do you... Maybe you have the warm water hooked up to your toilet, <laughs> not the cold water. <laughs> you ever think about that? So I just always, I always imagine the paper, I always imagine standing up to oh, wipe and the paper no. just being stuck to my ass like... Because it was like, so sweaty. Like wet tissues. So I just carry a little Lysol in my little pocket and just... Pss, pss, pss. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's... That's fine. Um, mm. And then do you Lysol your butt? Your butt? <sighs> no, definitely not. Definitely not. Trey, you're what like... What a sweaty butt. You are an agent of chaos in this podcast, and I appreciate you. A sweaty butt, Trey. That's it, what they call you on the streets. Uh, I I try to be funny, and I try to connect with the audience. Mm. Just as the same stuff. And you just do it. And you just, you just, you just have things. You just shine through. <laughs> you just shine through. Mm-hmm. People yeah. really do like you on this podcast. Mm-hmm. You know they get more com- com- comments on, on Trey than anything. And I like, I think your involvement is perfect. Like, you yeah, chime I in. That, yeah. I've never had you chime in. Well, we in. don't want you to do too much. No. Because then you you're going to outshine us. Chime in, it's perfect. Like, I always feel like we have like a good balance. And when you chime in and tell me that when you shit, your butt sweats, yeah, and that's, that's like the only special. part that sweats. Yeah. That's I'm really, not kidding. 
Like that's fascinating. That brings me a lot of joy. That's more interesting than any science ever. <laughs> because how does that work? Yeah. You know that big ring, the mass hadron collider mm -hmm. in Switzerland? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing never. compared to your sweaty ass. <laughs> It's yeah. incredible. I've never, yeah. I've never heard somebody say that. Before. I don't get why just your butt Somebody sweat. say that like, their, I feel their like, butt cheeks I feel like sweat. it's when you're when you're holding poop for so long. How? Why are you holding it for so long? What's going on? I'd be working, and then He'd so your butt, so your butt cheeks are all clamped up, and then they I just start sweating chest. after they all they just start sweating after time. So like, do you think it's a pressure thing? Like, do I you think, think there's more pressure, and it's pushing the sweat out? Because oh, no, there's also it, pressure holding the poop in, and that same pressure pushes the sweat out. Huh. I think it's just all of it. But I know for a fact, when I get done poop, you know how, like, when you pee, you got to wipe the toilet seat? Like, when I get done poop, you got to wipe the little sweat streaks off. So I'd be sweating. <laughs> I'd be concentrating, concentrating, going poop. Like, I need a good. Let's go. All right, number three. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working out so eventually. I won't have to shop at big and tall stores so I can start shopping at the still big, but not as big as it used to be and tall store. That's pretty good. That's that pretty one's good. pretty good. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, I love it when I get, if I get a pretty good from Jeff, that's pretty good. that means that's, that's, better. that's pretty good. That's better. Okay. Okay. If I was a dentist, I'd tell people not to brush their teeth. I'm trying to get paid out. <laughs> that's I mean, good. The yeah. anti-dentist dentist. Yeah. There was actually a bunch of dope people that I was in jail with. A lot of them were really nice. And then you'd see in the paper that they murdered someone. And I'd be like, man, Scott's cool. That dude, he killed, must have been a real piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they had it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's what I always feel like if Josh, if, if my husband were to ever kill me, like everyone would be like, meh. <laughs> That's messed then up. They would, uh, well, you're we, a good person, sort of. Right? Yeah. You think you're a good person? It's not that. It's not that. I think you're. A good it's not person. that I'm not a good person, but they could just be like, "Ah, oh, that checks out. That makes sense a little." I'm a better person, but I wasn't. I mean, I used to be a pile of doo doo. Which one of those jokes do you think I decided that I put in my act? Can I see him again? Um, I'm gonna go with probably the toilet one. That seems to be. Or what Your material? Okay, well, it's obviously not that one. I'll say four. Wait, what's the four? The funny one? The, the dentist? No. No? Where's that going to go in the set? The, I can build on that jail one. So oh, that, the jail to one. me, is a compelling joke. Yeah, that's true. Because anything, um, I like challenging people's ideas about incarceration and mm -hmm. homelessness. And, like, that's kind of where I find, like, a lot of humor lives is – not a joke about how much jail sucks, but a joke about I had good times when I was locked mm -hmm. up sometimes. And I hate that people that have never been to jail. Ooh, this has been bugging me lately. What is it? This is really trapping my ass. This is a thing that I've been thinking about. I know other people are probably thinking about this. Um, folks I know that have like experienced poverty or are currently experiencing poverty do not pretend that they know what it's like to be rich. But people that have always been rich think they know what it's like to be poor. Yeah. And that bothers me. Like, it bothers me. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking about that. So I think with my comedy, um, challenging ideas people have around substance use, poverty, incarceration even though those things are related they're not all the way related there's plenty of people that have been locked up that didn't have substance use issues there's plenty of people in poverty that don't have substance use issues there's plenty of people who have substance use issues who've never been incarcerated vice versa like it's not that simple but i love that those are all part those experiences are part of who i am mm -hmm. and i hate that people that know nothing about it like really think they know what the fuck they're talking right. about and it bothers me i hate it when people tell me things or I hate it when even after shows sometimes that people are like oh you know what you should do when you're talking about da -da -da? <laughs> and I'm like listen sometimes it's dope but sometimes it's like nah man like that's not I struggle with any is. I struggle with any sentence that starts you know what you should do nah, yeah. probably not probably yeah. not probably not listening to the rest of the sentence not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do is your internet not working I was gonna say I think because yeah mine wasn't it was and that's why I couldn't get the documents. Um, you know, it's funny. If you don't know, me and Jess have a 
um, that was empty before we started eating breakfast. <laughs> we have um, a document. Uh, we've talked about everything except for uh, your experience, your latest comedy experience. Oh, well, yeah, it was just we were just um, had a show in Seattle and it was it ended up being for for like there was literally seven people there, which mm. they were fantastic. They were wonderful. Um, but for some reason, like when I like I was totally fine. And then when I went up, like I got up there and I just like went like I just started basically like hyperventilating, like where I could just couldn't like catch my breath. And I was like, you know what I love? Like, I love, I love drinking. Oh, First, and then God. I set up the joke wrong. And then like, and then, yeah. yeah and like, and so it's so hard. And then <laughs> I literally was only doing like five minutes and I struggled to get through, but like, fine, like by the, by like the fourth minute I was, I had, was able to, I just had to end up doing like crowd work. Cause like, yeah. I just was like, hmm. that's good. Um, At least you got those instincts. You yeah. talked, was it episode three or four where we talked about like Man. your anxiety related to like stand up? Yeah. And like you getting ready to go on stage mm -hmm. and almost panic, having like right. a full on panic. Attack. Yeah. This was weird because like, yeah, I wasn't, because I was you like, were oh, calm going fine. up there. You know what's weird is I kind of get that. Yeah. Because it's like you have to be in the moment, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like you should be nervous before you get on stage and then relax. And then it breaks right like a wave. You're like, Oh, thank God. Yeah. Like I can do this. I remember. Yeah, I did. I was, I was able to like call it out and be like, I am, I am just, woo, cannot breathe. I think that's um, the move, isn't it? Yeah. You have to like, be, you have to be all the way present and right. say, Hey, like, like, I, I know I have jokes this is about happening. being anxious, but like, I mean, this is real life. This, this is, is what's real happening. Life. Yeah. Luckily it was like two 17 year olds and you know, a couple other people. So it was, they were very they were very kind to my... Is your name... I went... I did a show with Gabe Rutledge last night, which was cool. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's really something. Um, really funny. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, it's always humbling for me. A lot of times when I'm on a show, a lot of times I'm closing it out. Yeah. And then that. I'm kind of like the... I'm kind of like the dude. Right. You're the man, the headliner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because anytime I work with Gabe, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's like this other level of comedy. It's the same thing with Nate. And yeah. Like these guys that are just kind of like monsters. And like, I think I can get there. And mm -hmm. sometimes I might even be like messing with that a little bit. Like, I'm not saying I'm as good as Nate or as good as Gabe, but like I've had moments where I feel like I'm, I'm, I can't sustain it, but I'm like, oh man, like maybe five or ten minutes where I'm like, bop, 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 yeah. bop, 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 like punchline, 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 and then it's all flowing and it doesn't feel forced. Like I can do it sometimes, but like watching Gabe work that room, and it was a tricky room. It was lit strange, mm -hmm. and they had like two distinct sides, and there was like nobody sitting in the middle. There's a bunch of people to the left, and a bunch of people to the right, and. um I was a little bit out of sorts too, mm -hmm. not having like a panic attack, but you know, what's awesome. And this is something that, um, I want you to have Jess. Is what's that <clears throat> we talk about this shit when we're driving, but to have enough fallback material, right. like I have that water slide joke and it's not dirty. Mm. It's just, it's just a long ass story about me okay. being too fat for a water slide. Right. And like and people eat it up. They, they yeah. Love, yeah, 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 yeah. And so when I'm up there and like I'm kind of struggling, I'm like, man, they're not really biting on the dirty stuff. Like I did that semi truck joke yeah. about, um, and they didn't bite on it. Oh. Well, some people lost it. Like there was like maybe one third of that crowd was like doubled over, like laughing. Yeah. But then other people were like, no, mm -hmm. not like, having this it. This is not it. Hmm. So, but I think I worry with you that 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 kind of like whole that that anxiety that that I don't want it to win right but also like I don't know how I don't know what the strategy is for dealing with it well I will say I um I took different anxiety medicine because mm -hmm. I left my other um in my car on accident. So I think that probably had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, 
but yeah, it won't win, you know, and if it does, that's okay. Like sometimes that, that happens. I just have to figure out how to, to navigate through it. Um, luckily there was, um, Scott lossy was there and oh, great. like I love Scott. well and that's if you know another anxious person that's somebody who you yeah, know and Scott's so weird he's yeah so funny though he's was hilarious. He closing it out yeah yeah he was when i started comedy he was already like headlining a lot of stuff and he's been a little bit slower coming back from yeah. covid or whatever but dude's a murderer. He's so funny. So and he was yeah, and he and I, I talked to him a little bit, and because you know he has anxiety too, and I'm like how do you what do you do? How do you how do you push through it? He knows what the score is. I like him. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, it was me this time, you guys. Who called you? Was it a really? It good? literally said telemarketer. Oh nice. <laughs> Be nice. Whoopsie. Um, I don't have anything else. I need to go. Do oh stuff. my gosh! We'll keep that energy alive. Jeez, Louise. Oh wait, is that what you want? Yeah, like uh, the show is almost over. Do you you want would energy? just. Oh Lord, no. Okay, I changed my mind. Is it not uh, okay? Um, for me. Oh Lord, help us! You know we for- to have a moment of weakness. We forgot the things that for you, me that you used to know. You know. I know, you know, here's the thing I used to know, and here's the thing I know know. now, is that the amount of disrespect that I face Mm. in this room Mm -hmm. from the likes of fucking Trey and Jess Mm -hmm. directed at me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Things are going to change around here. How so? You're going to be nice to me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See, I'm using the microphone. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be weird. Am I doing that with my voice? Or is that and it was phone? your, it's your friend. Uh, what friend? It's your friend who left the comment about. Who? The, the not microphone. My but what it does is it makes me look like an asshole. Cause they're like, Jess is yelling. And I'm like, I'm not yelling. You're just not talking loud enough. You are yelling. And it's usually, the way my voice sounds. And I have a I voice mean, that's great for radio. You have a face that's great for reading. Coming up next, traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the traffic is bad. On the super funny report. Too many cars. Hmm. <laughs> See, that's why I should be on the radio. This is great. Yeah, the weather is... Not good. Rain? Maybe? I don't know. Didn't look. Don't understand how to read yeah. it, really. Um, there was a cloud, and the cloud is crying, and it has a happy hmm. face. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> Thank that, you that, for listening to Sam's cartoon weather. That was depression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's raining like trays, Sadness. but. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> I've been thinking about that all day. Butt cloud. Yeah. But just, just butt sweat. Mm-hmm. Like, and I just think about it, like just starting from like the top and then just dr- pouring it down. Start, it starts from like the outside of the cheeks. It works like outside in. Right. right. Like from not like the Fortnite. Yeah, yeah the, like exactly. The nap <laughs> I don't really get I don't really get like swamp ass. It's just like wet cheeks. Oh, that's what's up. It's not swamp ass. It's like uh, that's a medical like, uh, condition. I, I want to get Botox in your butt. I'm getting it. I'm getting it in my armpits. armpits. armpits oh my god, too. do you sweat really bad? Yeah, bad, bad. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh, I like I always I joke. anxiety stuff. Mm-hmm. It's weird. When if I get I was, too excited. I sweat no matter what. I could be freezing cold and I'm still sweating. I always joke, like, I'm like, when I become rich, I'm getting Botox. And I'm like, and it it's going directly into my armpits. It stops you from sweating? Yeah, it closes all your armpit. pores. Like, they don't work no more. So. Yeah. Really? But then it does, apparently, I have heard that it, like, just distributes the the sweat elsewhere. <laughs> so oh, no. your butt might sweat a little bit more. I'll deal with that. But, yeah, I know. I've, I've literally um, been... Cause it's such, it's so awful. Cause you can't like, that's Man, my why, body's good. Actually. That's why like, I always sometimes. have to, I always have to layer up because I like yeah. sweat through the first couple layers. I worry about my body, but I actually feel a lot better now listening to how your guys. Yeah. Trey and I are fucked up. Yeah. yeah. They betray us. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually doing good. Yeah. Well, I am going to go to the gym and okay. that's what I'm going to do. Good. Um, I want to say this to everybody listening. We really appreciate you. Mm-hmm. We are going to keep doing this podcast. Also, I got to start looking for a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I was I was going to ask how what your plan was with that. Like how, I don't know. Because we got the 12 If weeks, they were going to find us or if we were going to find them. Mm-hmm. Um, TikTok. Yeah. I don't know. We'll okay. Figure well, we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. We okay. want a national sponsor. So if you know any. Yeah. So. If you have any ideas, let us know. 
That's it. And also a That's sponsor, too, because we're going to, um, I think we're going to run some ads and stuff like that. Yeah. And, like, do some paid promotion. Because I think that's what podcasts do sometimes, don't they? Probably, uh, I'm sure. Doesn't matter. I feel like this is a pretty good podcast. I like that we didn't talk about comedy the whole time today. Yeah. Rachel Afjay so brought that up. It was funny because she was like, uh, Rachel was like, I like how you guys said that you're not, not going to talk, talk about, about comedy. comedy. And we talk about comedy all the that's time. It. But we have stuck to the no guest thing. That's true. Yeah. Except your mom. So. But I think, I, I mean, we love comedy. We do. It's literally impossible. Ooh. So I'm having body stuff. Okay. Every All time right. I go to the gym, the first thing I do is I poop. You guys and are then really, I work out really gross for like, I do like 12 minutes of like crazy cardio. And, and then a lot again. of times I'll poop again. It really gets it moving. I fucking knew it. Kicks on that conveyor belt. Okay. This is the type report with Sam and Jess it, and Trey and Trey. 